Welcome back. In the last video, we got started with Azure App Services demo, wherein we manually created uh, the app services uh, from the Azure portal. We saw how you could uh, go to app services and just uh, within a few clicks, you just can get started with your app services. We saw what's the difference between app services plans and app services. And then we saw what our backups, how backups are configured, deployment configuration, slots, center, and a lot of cool features. But it, all those were majorly manual and we, I wanted to make sure that we also learn how you could just automate your infrastructure provision. This is uh, primarily an infrastructure, underlying infrastructure, and we wanted to make sure that uh, we also learn how you could create, um, use some sort of automation and then create your app services rather than clicking through the GUI. Uh, so what we're going to do is there are multiple ways you could use the APIs, you could use the bash PowerShell. However, uh, if you're coming from the infrastructure background, Terraform is one of the uh, highly uh, sort of the tool which which kind of takes care of the infrastructure and we would highly recommend you to use that uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, create the app services which was done manually in the last video we're gonna do that using the terraform we're gonna create app services and plan and a lot of those cool features so let me pull up my terminal so the, i'm using intellij i'm using the open source version uh, either you could use intellij or visual studio code editor whatever is deemed appropriate uh, i'm using intellij because it kind of comes with auto completion feature and a lot of other cool uh, stuff so uh, that's why I'm using it so uh, feel free to use uh, any of your uh, code editor what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two new file main.tf and probably um, var.tf variable.tf that's for terraform and if I go to my main file uh, what I'm gonna do is I am going to just start writing my configuration uh, provider going to be Azure RM and then uh, with the latest version of Terraform you could use the feature as well and now I'm going to create the resource remember we created the resource group first in our last video so I'm going to create the Azure RM resource group first resource group and give it a tag uh, probably RG and then give it a name as location which is going to be var.location um, name going to be var dot app service name and then uh, recovery vault service if we oh we by mistakenly chosen the wrong one so I'm going to use the resource group yep that's what I want and I'll probably remove all of them yep and these are the two tags or rather variables I need I'm going to add them and I'm going to pick them up and put them into the variable section. Yep, I'm going to fill these uh, up later once we have all the variables defined. And then we start defining the Azure service plan. So we're going to choose what plan we want Azure RM app service plan and then give it a tag probably app plan uh, location gonna be uh, probably same as what our azure resource group name so i'm gonna reference this as azure resource group dot rg so that we can reference dot location that's about it um, the name going to be unique so i'm going to give a unique name probably um, service plan and resource uh, group is azure rm resource group dot rg dot name so what i've done is i've used this api and used this reference name and calling these uh, parameters of the resource group size uh, the standard size is uh, skew is going to be standard and then s1 in case you're wondering uh, where you can get all these uh, uh, config information you could go back to terraform documentation which is open in front of me and then you could just explore through all of the uh, argument reference which you need to we're not going to use all of them but there are plethora of uh, options available so you could just use them based on your organization need that's pretty much all and now we're going to start creating the azure rm app service yep 
and gonna give it a name as app service uh, the plan ID we need a plan ID uh, which is going to be now we're gonna use the reference of our plan ID dot ID location gonna be same as resource group dot RG dot location and we're gonna give them uh, give it a unique name probably app service highly not recommended or at all to use such kind of name but uh, we could just basis on your organization naming convention you could just use that resource group name again it's gonna be Azure RM resource group dot RG dot name not provider rather name all right and since it's a we kind of using a dot net you could use Linux and you could use uh, uh, not Linux but you could use any of your language Ruby Python I'm going to use a dot net so I'm going to use this as a site config and underneath the site config I'm going to have uh, a dot net framework version which is going to be version 4.0 and then I'm going to enable the uh, debugging I'm going to enable it as true and then I'm going to use the remote debugging version as well which is going to be Visual Studio 2019 and then I'm going to configure the backup as well uh, we saw the backup in the last video uh, we could just configure it using Terraform as well give it a name of your uh, backup as probably code red backup and then storage URL I'm going to go to my Azure account uh, go to the storage account probably storage account and I should have a storage account right over here I'm gonna to go to my shared access key and then generate a key for my domain this is very uh, uh, you got to keep it really secret so make sure that you don't um, keep it here and there make it make sure you probably save it in the vault or somewhere so I'm gonna use the blob service I'm gonna pick the blob URL go to my backup name right over here and then beneath the question mark I'm gonna put in my container name uh, go to the container container name is backup I'm just gonna give it a backup name and then at the end what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put sr equals to big that makes it a complete URL uh, the interval gonna be probably uh, you could put any interval 30 days either it needs to be an hour or days uh, so I've put it in 30 days and right over here you can mention that okay every 30 day I want my backup to be triggered and that's about it I'm just gonna uh, go to the variable section and uh, give the uh, give these a name uh, this was a resource group name so Azure app so so rg uh, location going to be central us that's what we used in the last uh, demo as well and that's about it i'm going to launch my terminal and do a terraform plan before that i need to do it inet so that it downloads all the uh, packages and dependencies for us you will notice that it's downloading the Azure RM module from HashiCorp site with a version, certain version. And now you are ready to run Terraform plan. That's going to give you uh, what are the resources Terraform is going to create. That's going to be primarily three resources, I believe resource group, app services, and app services plan. So it's going to create three, and those are going to be your resource group, plan, and then app services if you go to your azure account and go to app services you would see that there are no app services at the moment uh, we deleted the last one because that was incurring cost so what i'm going to do is i am going to do an apply with an auto approve and this is going to start creating the infrastructure for us within few seconds we're going to give it a few seconds so that it starts uh, creating the infrastructure and we should have the infrastructure right popping up here at the moment if you go to the resource group even it should have only one resource group um, however if you no start noticing the, noticing the uh, logs it has started to create the 
source group and there seems to be an error so the name has to be a valid one uh, you would see that error creating app services plan so that needs to be a, a unique one so what I'm what I've given is app service plan and we could just go to our main file and probably just try to change this one this one needs to be a, a unique one so what I'm gonna do is I am going to probably a ZDO or service and let's see if this kind of works all right it looks like we've got this same error again and if we kind of look at the error read the error there's a it says the parameter zero has an invalid value uh, in the SQ name uh, and that's that's because of uh, a typo rather um, so if you see the size is standard and the tier is s1 it has to be vice versa uh, so the size has to be s1 and the uh, tier has to be standard and all of these are in the documentation um, if you look at the document read the documentation carefully now I can go back and just give it the name it had before now if I do a terraform apply with an auto prove flag it should start hopefully it should start creating all of the resources for us we're gonna give it a few seconds and within a few seconds we should have some of the resource start popping up on Azure so if you go to the documentation you would see that uh, the argument has got name resource group location we used all of them uh, not all of them we used until backup and then we used we didn't use the identity and HTTPS enabled uh, we didn't use the logs as well but yeah if in case uh, in your organization you're using all of these features you could just terraform it within few simple steps uh, it started to creating the app services plan and now uh, it has created the app services plan after 20 seconds now it has started to create the app services if you go to the Azure app uh, services we don't have anything if you go to the resource group we should have the second resource group which is Azure app services RG and underneath it you would see that the plan has already been created uh, the app services is still being created if you go to the plan you would see all of the information about your app services plan which plan it is and how many uh, slots are available let's give it a few more seconds to app services all right the app services has, is now created if you go to the Azure portal and go to the resource group we should have multiple um, resources now created app services there if you go to the app services you would see that your app services is running right there and there then and there you've got your configuration backups and all the features available which you kind of um, you were clicking through in the last video so this is how easy it is to automate your infrastructure provisioning for app services within few uh, now we could uh, just uh, use this uh, same script for creating different types of app services for your different clients uh, and you don't have to manually just click through your the GUI. That's about it for this video. I hope this was informative. I'll see you in a while. Thank you.